Hello everyone, we are from S5T7. Today, we are going to discuss about our mathematics assignment. I'm Lao Hui Kim, and these are my group members, Lim Pun Sheng. Hello everyone, I'm Pun Sheng. Umi Najwa. Hello everyone, I'm Umi Najwa. And Siti Aisha. Hi everyone, I am Siti Aisha. Okay, so let's start our discussion now. All right, I'll begin our discussion with the question 2a. So first you see the question 2, express the following in the form of partial fraction. And question 2a is given this fraction, which is a linear factor and a quadratic factor, uh, and these two have the denominator. So first step, we split it into two fraction, and one of it is composed by the denominator of linear factor, and another one is quadratic factor. And based on the formula, we know that the linear factor is with a constant a, and for the quadratic factor, we use bx plus c. And the second step is multiplying the whole equation with 2x plus 1 and x squared minus x plus 2. So for this fraction, we cancel out both. So left out 4x squared minus 7x plus 1. For this fraction, we cancel out 2x plus 1. So a multiply with x squared minus x plus 2. And for the third fraction, we cancel out. So left 2x plus 1 multiply with bx plus c. So after getting the whole equation, we're going to substitute x with different values. So the first one, we substitute x with negative 1 over 2. So every x in the equation, we substitute negative 1 over 2. So after calculation, we get the value of a is equal to 2. So um, this is the first part of question 2a. And the second part of question 2a, I'll pass it to my group member, Umi Dachua. Okay, thank you, Pun Sheng. So since Pun Sheng already obtained the value of a, so I will try to find the value of b and c. I choose uh, one value, which is 0. So when x equals to 0, we will substitute it into the equation. Then we get 2a plus c equals 1. Since we already obtained the value of a, we replace it into a. Uh, 2 multiplied by 2, uh, we get 4, plus c equals 1. So the value of c we obtain uh, is negative 3. Next, we need to find the value of b. So I choose x equals 1 and substitute it into the equation, which we will get 2a plus in bracket b plus c multiplied by 3 equals to negative 2. We expand uh, this, then we will get 2a plus 3b plus 3c equals to negative 2. We already have the value of a and also c. We just replace both a equals to 2 and c equals to negative 3. Then we will get uh, 3b minus 5 equals to negative 2. So b, the value of b is negative 1. Lastly, for the final answer, we will substitute the value of a, b, and c uh, into the equation. And thus, we get 4x squared minus 7x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 2 uh, equals to 2 over 2x plus 1 plus x minus 3 over x squared minus x plus 2. So that's it for the final calculation for the problem number two. Is there any question? I have. Uh, my question is why we have to substitute negative one over two, zero and into the equation. And can we use those values for the equation? All right. The reason of using negative 1 over 2 to substitute x is because we see this part, after we sum up, we get a value of 0. And this is multiplying each other, so the whole part is equal to 0. Therefore, we can uh, cancel out the unknown b and c. So we only left out one unknown, so we can get the value of the only unknown a. And why we're using x equal to 0 is because this uh, b multiplied with 0 will cancel out the b and only left out one unknown because the value of a is already, uh, we already get it. And why we are using x equal to one, actually uh, we can use any value to substitute uh, the third part, but except negative one over two and zero. The reason is uh, can use any value is because uh, we already get the value of a and c. So the only unknown is b. 
However, why we cannot use negative 1 over 2 and 0 is because when we substitute x with negative 1 over 2 and 0, we will cancel out the b. But the third part, we need to find out the value of b. Um, is that answer your question, Aisha? Oh, I got it, I got it. Thank you. Okay, then let's discuss about question 2c. Okay, question 2c, the question given is x squared minus 14 over x plus 2, x minus 3. We are asked to express these in partial fractions. So first of all, we need to expand the bracket first. So it goes to x squared minus 14 over x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Then it goes to x squared minus 14 over x squared minus x minus 6. Then we do the long division x squared plus 0x minus 14, the divisor is x squared minus x minus 6. x squared divided by x squared, we get 1. 1 times with the divisor, we get x squared minus x minus 6. Then we minus the whole things here, we get x minus 8. So from the long division, we get x squared minus 14 over x plus 2, x minus 3 equals to the quotient 1 plus with the remainder over divisor, the remainder is x minus 8 over x plus 2, x minus 3. Then we are going to find the partial fractions for this proper fraction. So this proper fraction has denominator with two linear factors. We are going to separate these two linear factors into two fractions. x, x minus 8 over x plus 2 x minus 3 equals to a over x plus 2, the first linear factor, plus with b over x minus 3, the second linear factor. Then we add up these two fractions as usual. So equals to a times with x minus 3 plus b times with x plus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 3. Then we get the same denominator for both left hand and right hand side. So we can write x minus 8 equals to a x minus 3 plus b x plus 2. So how are we going to solve this question? Uh, Aisha, could you sh please show us your calculation? So after we get this equation, x minus a equal to a x minus 3 plus b x plus 2. So I choose x equal to negative 2. So I substitute negative 2 into this equation. So I get a equal to 2. So after that, I choose x equal to 3. And then I substitute 3 into this equation. So I got negative 5 equal to 5b. And the final answer for B is negative 1. So after we got the values of A and B, we can substitute the values into this equation. And then we can get this. 2 divide x plus 2 minus 1 divide x minus 3. So the final answer that we got is x square minus 14 divide x plus 2 x minus 3 equal to 1 plus 2 divide x plus 2 minus 1 x minus 3. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Um, is there any questions? Yes, uh, I have. Can I ask you guys why we have to use long division? Um, okay, um, because this is an improper fraction where the degree of numerator is same with the degree of denominator, which is 2. So when we have to find the partial fractions for uh, improper fraction, we need to do the long division. Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Okay, welcome. So I think we'll end our discussion here. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching this.